talk about higher order partial derivatives. Just like if we had a real valued single variable function fx, we could have talked about the derivative of uh, f of x, the double derivative of f of x, etc. etc. We talk about the higher order partial derivatives of a function. So as always, what, what are our ingredients? We need a function on a domain. So f is a real valued function on d where d is a subset of r2. As of now, we have always talked about uh, functions in two variables. So we need d to be a subset of r2. And suppose that the, the partial derivative of f with respect to x exists at all the points. Uh, for all x0, y0, d, this quantity fx uh, at x0, y0 exists. So, if, uh, so this uh, this gives me the following. Uh, the function. So, we get a function. So, out of this, we can create a function uh, fx from d to r. So, now we say that uh, fx has a partial derivative with respect to. So, if it so happens that fx has a partial derivative with respect to x at the point x0, y0. So then the partial derivative is denoted by fxx x0 y0 or by del 2 del x2 f of x0 y0. So let me explain this notation a little bit. So what we are doing is that we are saying that uh, if, uh, if fx exists on d then fx is a function on d. So it is a real valued function on d and if it so happens that for a given point x0 y0 for a given point x0, y0 in D, uh, uh, so for the time being, let me write it as G. If it so happens that Gx exists, uh, so if Gx, x0, y0 exists, then uh, we call it as uh, F or we denote it by Fx as x, x, uh, x0, y0 or uh, how else uh, one could talk about it? One could write it as uh, del del x of del del x f at x0 y0. So a simplified way of writing this notation is del 2 del x2 of f at x0 y0. So, so this is one of the instances of higher order partial derivatives. One could, uh, one could do the same thing with y for example. So again suppose that g is this function fx that we already have and suppose that gy x0 y0 exists. So suppose that this exists then we could uh, talk about uh, 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 then we could talk about uh, fxy. So what is fxy? Uh, at x0 y0 so this is exactly equal to uh, this quantity so g suffix y uh, x0 y0 and another way of writing this would be first you consider del del x of f at the point x0 y0 or first you simply consider del f del x and then you uh, take the partial derivative of del f del x with respect to y and you take the partial derivative at the point x0 y0. So this will give me that uh, or let me uh, let me put it this way. So a way of writing this would be del 2 f del y del x x0 y0. So this notation can be a little confusing to begin with because we are saying that here we have a suffix xy uh, of f on the other hand here we are writing as uh, del y del x so this is going to be del y del x so so we are going to say that f x y and del 2 del y del x are the same notation but it is quite clear that when we are talking about the, about this notation what we are going to do is that first we are going to take the partial derivative with respect to x and then we are going to take the partial derivative with respect to y so, so a way of writing this is just to remove the bracket and simply put it as f of f suffix x y. On the other hand, here what do we uh, do? First, we take del f del x, and then we take del del y 
and her con uh, and the conventional convenient way of writing this would be just to omit this bra bracket and uh, write it as del 2 del y del x of f so at the point x0 y0 that is not an issue for us so i hope uh, you will remember this notation and will not be confused when you uh, see this notations uh, afterward and uh, similarly one can go on and define this quantity f y x f y y at the point x0 y0 see again here when we have f y x the corresponding notation in terms of delta is equal to delta 2 f divided by delta x delta y so here uh, uh, the suffix gets reversed so to speak so <coughs> So uh, in general, uh, these two quantities, uh, del f, del y, so del 2 f, uh, del y, del x, and del 2 f, del x, del y, they are referred to as mixed partial derivatives. So whenever you see some notations like this, f x y at x 0 y 0, f y x at x 0 y 0, then you will say that uh, these are called the mixed partial derivatives of f at the point x 0 y 0. Now the question is suppose we have a domain D and we have a real value function f on the domain and suppose that x0 y0 is a point in D. So if it so happens that both the mixed partial derivatives if xy at x0 y0 and if yx at the point x0 y0 exist both of them exist then the question is are they equal? So uh, these questions are very common in mathematics and almost always uh, gets asked and it is uh, most common in mathematics to see that uh, the answer to this kind of questions is in general no. So here is a counter example. So, <coughs> uh, so if you have uh, looked at the exercises you have seen these examples many a time. Uh, so what is fxy? So at the point uh, 0 0 we define it to be equal to 0 and when x y is not the origin so x y is not equal to 0 0 we define it as this function x y times x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square. So now uh, if we want to compute uh, what is del 2 f uh, del y del x so remember what is this this is our f x y so First we take derivative with respect to x, then we take derivative with respect to y. So f x y at the point 0 0, this is equal to by definition limit as k tends to 0. So we are finally taking the derivative with respect to y. So del f del x uh, 0 comma k minus del f del x 0 0 divided by k. So here I have given you the computation. So del f del x 0 k turns out to be equal to minus k. So if you go through all the calculation, it is very easy. And if you just put this uh, calculation here, so we have got it to be equal to minus k. And, uh, and you will see uh, that this quantity turns out to be equal to minus 1. A similar calculation uh, for f y x, if y x at the point 0 0 yields the result to be equal to 1. So you can see that these two quantities are not equal. So uh, just uh, let me have a uh, uh, let me explain this. So, uh, so here to compute uh, this quantity what do we need to do is that we have to compute limit h tending to 0. Remember here our function now is del f del y at the point h comma 0 minus del f del y at the point 0 0 divided by h this is our definition of uh, partial derivative with respect to x of the function del f del y and uh, you will see that the limit as i said will turn out to be equal to 1 again the computation for this is done here so you can just have a look it is very easy to do so the question is uh, are they ever equal uh, okay so uh, and if they are equal then what do we need in order for them to be equal so we are going to give you a sufficient condition for the two mixed or mixed partial order derivatives to be equal at a uh, given point so this theorem which we will not prove because uh, this is quite involved 
Uh, so it is called mixed partial derivative theorem. So it is often uh, often uh, said that Plato, a French mathematician, he proved it. So it is often attributed to uh, this French mathematician called Clairaut. Uh, it is uh, so I want to make a remark that it is uh, always very uh, tough when you are young to uh, remember how to pronounce these names. Uh, especially the names of the French mathematicians. If you want, you could uh, go to this website. They have a lot of YouTube videos where they have uh, they have illustrated how to pronounce the name of famous scientists, mathematicians, or uh, many famous personalities. Let me put it in this way. So coming back to mathematics. So what we do is that uh, suppose as always we have a domain D, uh, which is a subset of R two. Uh, we have a point x0, y0 and a function f from d to r. So if it so happens that f, fx, fy, fxy, fyx, they are all defined in an open neighborhood of the point x0, y0. So you remember open neighborhood of a point uh, x0, y0 and are all continuous at the point x0, y0, then it will turn out that they are equal. So this is uh, not the uh, not the only condition that you will come across if you uh, want to look around in different calculus or analysis books. But this is one sufficient condition. Uh, so this condition will ensure that the mixed partials at the points at the point x zero y zero uh, will be equal. So let us uh, let us summarize once more. So you have a domain D. A point x0 y0 and a function from d to r if it so happens that if fx fy fxy and fyx they are defined in an open neighborhood of x0 y0 and they are continuous at x0 y0 then the mixed partials at the point x0 y0 are equal so just one remark about open neighborhood so you may uh, so if you do not want to go into too much of technicalities, uh, you just you may just say that it is defined uh, in uh, in a b uh, x zero uh, y zero comma r so uh, open disk and open disk uh, uh, an open neighborhood of radius. Uh, uh, r uh, with center x0 y0 so if it so happens that there exist r greater than 0 such that um, these quantities are defined uh, in this uh, this open disk and they are continuous at the point x0 y0 then the mixed partial derivatives at this point are always going to be equal now, uh, now in a similar manner, one could go on and define even higher order mixed partial derivatives, or even higher order derivatives. Like you could always really talk about uh, del n, del x n of f at x zero y zero. For your choice of n, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so if it exists or not, you can always ask. But uh, we are not going to talk about that. So more on uh, more on uh, multivariable calculus in our subsequent videos.